Hi everyone, welcome back to the Vidoji Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming Using Java. In this video, uh, we are going to talk about logical operators. Well, logical operators is something that we will allow us to work with more than one condition. For example, what happens if you would like to make sure uh, well, we can talk about something a little bit more simple that most people that are actually working understands. Let me search here, text bracket Netherlands, and then let's check here, Dutch tax system, probably to tell us what we are trying to achieve. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look at here. If we try to create this into our algorithm, we are going to see that basically we have two conditions. Imagine that we have a salary. So if the salary, we can just say, hey, if the salary is lower than 35,130, basically, let's say we are going to take out 35% of that salary as a tax. But if the salary is greater than 35,130 and it's lower than lower or equal to 68,508, we are going to take 37%. Else, we are going to take 49.5%. So can you see that the, the key point here is end? And this is one of the things that the logical operators is going to do allow us to do. So if you search for logical operators uh, Java, because all the languages, they will have these uh, logical operators. Basically, the logical operators, and logical, 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 we have comparison, the relational, and we have the logical operators. So basically, we have these three. It's a percent and percent, pipe, pipe, and this is the exclamation mark. So let's just start with the a percent and percent. Basically, is the logical operator end. So this is going to be interesting. Let's imagine the following here. Sometimes we have to work with conditions. So the end operator, it works like this. Imagine that we have here, I don't need a box, but imagine this is end, that we have the following conditions. We have here a condition that's true. Let's use four of them. So we have true, 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 true. And then, Let's say the second condition here is false. So imagine that it can be any kind of condition. So I'm just having it as an example here. So false, false. So basically what we are doing here is the truth table. Well, false, false, and then false. Okay, so the end operator, the logical operator, basically will evaluate the result. Remember, when we are talking about if statements, the result should be a boolean. So basically, if you put like true, 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 false, false, true, in the end, all of this together, it must result into one logical uh, boolean. It's either true or false. So I'm using only two here, but if you have like 10 or more conditions aligned, in the end, this is going to result in only one condition only one true or only one false but you are evaluating all of this for example uh, imagine that you are doing a payment system so is the name like uh, goku and is the credit card number x and is the address like x y you are comparing everything if one thing is wrong then it means that it will result like can you make that payment or not so this is kind of how it works so we only use two here because you are going to to see how it works. Um, no, actually, this is a, a bit wrong. So we have true, true. That's what happens when you are talking and doing at the same time. We have true, true. We have true, false. We have kind of the possible combinations that we we can have: false, false, and we have no, false, true, and then we have here false, false. I apologize for that. So this is how the truth table. Uh, kind of looks like so these are kind of all possible combinations from here on you can just uh, have like a result based on what we have here so let's say that we have two or more conditions and all of these conditions they are using the end if you have all of the conditions uh, equals to true the end result of all these conditions will be true 
if you have true 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 and one false you can have like 50 true and one false and you're using the end logical operator this is going to result into false so the end result of this operation it doesn't matter how many trues you have if you have one false and you're using end it's going to be false another thing is false true is the same thing you can have 30 falses you can have 100 true conditions if one is false is going to result into false and false false it means that it's going to result into false so if the name is not what we are expecting and the credit card number is not what we're expecting well of course they cannot make the the payment so as you can see here we have only one condition where the things using the logical operator and will result into true it's when everything is true so if you are talking about the credit card imagine that we have for example here name uh william and then imagine that we have or the credit card number of william imagine this is what is stored in the database so it's 10 and imagine that the valid date like valid through should be um, 06 uh, 2026 for example so this is what is stored in the database this is what we know that we can accept and then someone is making a request so they have a request here where they are sending okay names William and then uh, the credit card number is uh, 10 but then the valid they are using 05 2026 and then comes the condition is the name equal to whatever we have in the database true okay first true then the second condition and is the credit card number exactly the same as we have in the database yes it is true and is the valid through the same as we have in the database false true true false it will result in false this payment cannot proceed because one of the conditions is not met. So basically, that's how it works with the end operator. So let's keep this video short. In the next video, we are going to actually code and see how it works in action. So we can do this example and we can also use the, the text bracket. So let's see what we are going to do in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye bye.